In today's video, we'll take a look at the latest 4TB retro gaming external hard drive for the Steam Deck and PC from Explosion of Fun. It comes preloaded with 3.6TB of games and runs Vodacera Linux. It includes some helpful accessories, I'll demonstrate how to get it up and running, and we'll also check out some gameplay. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. The Retro Station external 4TB hard drive from Explosion of Fun supports not only playing games on the Steam Deck, but also on your PC. You may appreciate that they provide multiple options. That is, you can choose from various capacities. The larger the capacity, the more games that are included for higher-end systems. There are titles for PS2, Wii, Wii U, etc. And we'll look at some of those shortly. The reviews on their site are very good. One question you may have is, how much is this drive in US dollars? And the kit shown in this video is about $199 US. Your next question may be, why not use an SSD instead of a disk drive? And the reason is primarily because it would be cost prohibitive for many. Thank you to Explosion of Fun for sending this kit for a review. The kit didn't come from China, but rather Portugal. The packaging seems a bit too large for just a hard drive, which was all I knew that was being sent. Instead, this option includes a nice Steam Deck zipper case with a few additional goodies. There is a TPU protective case that is flexible and includes a piece of Velcro on the back. The case looks durable and includes slots for any micro SD cards you may want to pack. There is also two different types of cables for the hard drive. One is USB-C for connecting directly to the Steam Deck or a PC with USB-C. And the other is a USB Type-A cable, which is handy for connecting it directly to your PC. And of course, the 4TB RetroFun hard drive with a label that looks like a cartridge shell, but is packed with tons of games. And also with Botocera pre-installed, it's basically configured and ready to go. Let's quickly go over the various ways that it can be used. Let's discuss various ways you can use this drive. If you have a Steam Deck dock, you can plug the USB-A in of the adapter directly into the dock, then connect the dock to the deck and HDMI to your TV or monitor, and use wired or wireless controllers, then press and hold the volume down while powering it on to get into the boot menu. Select the drive, then use your Steam Deck as a gaming console. To connect directly to the Steam Deck, install the deck into the TPU case, then plug in the USB-C to hard disk drive cable, affix the drive to the Velcro backing, and then plug in the USB-C cable to the deck. Select the Toshiba EFI drive from the boot menu and you're good to go. You can also run the games from within Windows, connect the drive, the controller, and HDMI to your PC. Navigate to the share partition, and launch the Retro Station PC for You executable. In Windows, you will be prompted to enter a username and password provided by Explosion of Fun. This is a minor inconvenience, but it's cached, so you'll only need to do this once and only when using Windows. After clicking login, you'll then see this pretty cool boot video. You can also bypass Windows entirely by entering the boot menu. I have more information on how to do that on the Botticera PC Retro Gaming Guide, which I'll place a link up above. Then set the drive at the top of the boot order and temporarily turn off Secure Boot. Be sure and re-enable it if you want to boot back into Windows. The first time you start it up, it will take a little longer than subsequent boots as it's indexing the game list. The drive will then boot directly into Botticera and there is no login prompt. Now we'll cover some helpful getting started information. To keep things consistent, I'll demonstrate the drive from the Steam Deck connected to a dock over HDMI to my video capture device. As we've already discussed, hold down the volume, then press and release the power button to get into the boot manager. Then select the EFI Toshiba drive and Vodacera will load. If connected over HDMI, the display won't automatically swap to the external display. You'll press start on the controller 
scroll down to system settings, then video output. Select the option for HDMI or display port, and when you go back, the image will transition to the connected TV or monitor. Similarly, the audio output may also need to be changed. Go back into system settings, then audio output. I'll select the option that includes HDMI, and when I back out, we should hear the audio. You can find a detailed guide on the Botocera PC setup at wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash PC dash Botocera. There is a video and written guide that will show you how to customize Botocera and directly applies to the 4 terabyte drive that we're using in this video. You'll find sections on setting up Wi-Fi as well as downloading and applying themes if you want to customize the look and feel. I'll place a link down below if you're interested in learning more. The drive consists of a fairly well curated list of games spanning a number of different consoles and emulators. There are 31,952 games in total installed. There are very few duplicates, and one of the main reasons why this is a 4 terabyte drive is because there are games included for many of the higher end systems. I'll scroll rapidly through the list of games, but feel free to pause any of them if you want to see how many games exist for a particular system. As you might expect, there are a great collection of retro games and consoles for many of the classic 8 and 16-bit machines. In addition, you'll find games for more modern systems, such as Xbox, Wii, Wii U, PS2, PS3, and even the Switch. In addition to consoles, there are also games for the Sega Model 3 arcade platform that was released in 1996, as well as MAME for playing your favorite classic arcade titles. You'll find a great selection of games, and the vast majority are going to play very well. But now, let's dive into some gameplay examples so you can see for yourself if this drive is worth consideration. Now we'll take a look at some of the gameplay from this drive running off the Steam Deck. Throughout the remainder of this video, I'll demonstrate some gameplay and a few minor issues I encountered along the way.
Target now. Talk, I might kill you tonight. Stewie, guess what word I'm thinking of right now? It's not kitty. I really wouldn't know. Go on, guess a word. But, but it's not kitty. Is it kitty? <gasps> Get out of my head! I will make you suffer! There are 102 PS3 games included. I'll partially scroll through this list here. For a full list of games, see the link in the video description below. After launching a PS3 game on the Steam Deck, I received this error. To correct it, select the Yes button and PS3 games will work from there. Explosion of Fun has been notified of the issue. There are 23 Switch games included on this drive, however, the controllers weren't mapped correctly during my testing. I pressed the escape key, went into the controllers menu within the Yuzu emulator, then remapped all the buttons, and then all the games I tested played fine from there. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Retro Station Deck 4TB drive for the Steam Deck or PC. There are a large variety of games included in this kit. There are some duplicates, but far fewer than most collections I've reviewed in the past. I did notice some missing artwork for some games, and I did have one issue with the PS3 and the Switch, as mentioned in the gameplay section. I'm sure that'll be corrected soon by Explosion of Fun, but something worth mentioning. What do you think of this drive? comment below and let me know. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope I've earned it today. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.